بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبع سنته إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to another episode of the short benefits and lessons from Al-Adab Al-Mufrad We come to chapter 318, a man spending for his family Thoban said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said The best dinar a man spends is a dinar which he spends on his family, the dinar which he spends on his companion in the way of Allah, and the dinar which he set, spends on his riding animal in the way of Allah. Abu Qilaba, one of the narrators, said, He started by mentioning the children, and also said, None has greater reward than the man who spends on small children until such time that Allah the Mighty and Exalted makes them independent. So we can see the commentary mentions here, good deeds are of categories as mentioned earlier. As regards charity, from the best of expenses is what one spends on his household. Then spending on the little children in one's household until they become old enough and independent is certainly very rewarding and full of blessings. The Prophet Wasallam also said, it is sufficient sin for a man that he abandon his dependence, as mentioned in Sahih Muslim. And Abu Mas'ud al-Badri said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said when someone spends something on his family and reckons its reward to be with Allah, it is a sadaqah for him. So this shows us the excellence of spending on one's family and the need to do so for the sake of Allah alone, seeking to be rewarded by him. Thus, if a man does such a virtuous deed but for the sake of other than Allah, seeking fame or showing off thereby, he loses the reward for the deed. Jabir said, a man said, Messenger of Allah, I have a dinar. He said, spend it on yourself. The man said, I have another. He said, spend it on your servant. Or he said, on your child. The man said, I have another. He said, use it in the way of Allah. But that is the least form of it. Sadaqah. And Abu Hari said, the Prophet wasallam said, there are four dinars. A dinar you give to a poor person. A dinar you give to free a slave. A dinar you spend in the way of Allah and a dinar you spend on your family. And the best of them is the dinar you spend on your family. So we here see here the emphasis of spending provision. And in another hadith it mentions that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that you get rewarded for every morsel that you put in your wife and your dependent's mouth, as in when you're feeding them. Chapter 319, and this is what's coming up right now, subhanAllah. Chapter 319, there is a reward for everything even a piece of food or morsel offered to one's wife to eat. Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas said, the Prophet wasallam said to Sa'ad, you spend nothing by which you desire the face of Allah the Mighty and Exalted, but you are rewarded for it, even what you put in your wife's mouth, as in the food you put on the table. Chapter 320. Supplication in the last third of the night. Abu Huraira said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, alayhi wa sallam, said, Our Lord, the blessed and exalted, descends to the lowest heaven every night when a third of the night remains. He says, Who is calling on me so that I can answer him? Who is asking me for something so that I can give to him? Who is asking me for forgiveness so that I can forgive him? And the commentary here shows that Imam al-Albani rahimullah explained that this wording of this hadith is an authentic Mutawathir, meaning it was collected by a large number of people in every generation. As is affirmed by the great scholars of hadith such as Ibn Abdul Burr, who then said, it contains evidence that Allah the mighty and sublime is above the heavens, above the arsh, above the seven heavens. As the community of scholars of the ummah have said, it is from their proofs against the Mu'tazila and the Jahmi, these deviant groups, who in their opinion, and we seek refuge in that, that Allah Almighty is everywhere in their false, misconstrued uh, opinion. The Imam, may Allah shower blessings on him, con continued that the like of the position of the Jahamites and the Mu'tazila is that of the one that says Allah is neither within the universe nor outside of it. From the points of benefit in this hadith is the virtue of waking up for prayer and supplication during the last third part of the night although it is the time that many of the people enjoy sleep heedlessly and more so during the winter so we've seen from this today's episode as a recap that the reward of spending on one's family is great 
and that one should spend and prioritize spending on their family first. And we saw this when it was mentioned by the Prophet wasallam that indeed, in these different hadiths, to if you have a dinar, to spend it on your family. And then we saw the hadith that followed up on that, that explained that there is a reward for everything you spend your money where in pleasing Allah, even putting the morsel or putting the food in your wife's mouth, meaning providing food for the family. So this is an emphasis that we should um, long and hope for the reward of Allah, make our intention when doing our everyday duties as parents, as a husband, as a man, etc., to make the intention for it to be for the pleasure of Allah so that we can, inshallah, obtain this reward. Until next time, inshallah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.